We cannot look at our budget through rose-colored glasses. We have to be as clear-eyed as possible. So we're going to a majority of takers versus makers in America. You don't do the things that are in this budget because it hurts too many people. As a maker, I am sick of the low-income takers out there always asking for more. All those opposed say no. No! As many as 15% of Walmart employees use food stamps. Don't simply feed fish. There's more to Walmart than you think. We're going to show you how much that mac and cheese might cost if Walmart paid its workers enough that no one was eligible for food stamps. Anyone can afford food there except people who work at Walmart. <laughs> That's one penny per box of mac and cheese to save U.S. taxpayers $300 million. We cannot look at our budget through rose-colored glasses. 68% of the cuts from people will be from low or moderate incomes. Gosh, we're starting to get that pie a little smaller, aren't we? Ryan wants to cut $3.3 trillion from programs like Medicaid and the SNAP program, the most vulnerable in our society. You know what I've taken in my life? I've taken a lot of bull I've been pushed around at jobs. I've been the lower seniority person, so the lower seniority people get the, the worst jobs. It just, it's the way it works. They, but I've never taken anything that I didn't deserve. And if they say that I'm a taker for, you know, collecting unemployment because my job is not there at this moment for me to work. Um, in the state of Ohio, I have to put in two applications a week to try to find a job. I just had to, I just paid money out of my pocket, which my funds are already tight, to rebuild my computer today so that I can pull my resume out, so I can send my resume to places. Um, you know, I'm not a taker, I, I just won't want to be taken advantage of. And uh, that's pretty much how I feel about that. Pay attention to this next video. Slate.com put together what I think is a great video portraying just how everyone in America, you, me, everyone in America is picking up Walmart's tab. This is a box of mac and cheese. This is Walmart. And these are your tax dollars. We're going to show you how much that mac and cheese might cost if Walmart paid its workers enough that no one was eligible for food stamps. The average person living near the poverty line can receive around $130 a month in food stamps. So say you're a single mom with one child and you work for Walmart. You'd be eligible for food stamps if you make less than $20,449 a year. Walmart says the average wage for hourly store associates is $1,183 an hour, but that includes some supervisor positions. Industry analyst research puts the average cashier at about $881 an hour. Based on data from one state, Ohio, as many as 15% of Walmart employees use food stamps. That's about 40 employees per store who earn so little they qualify for food stamps. Last year, the U.S. distributed $76 billion in food stamps. Walmart says it takes in 18% of all those food stamp dollars. That's about $13 billion a year. If Ohio is representative, Walmart employees receive somewhere around $300 million a year in food stamp benefits, ultimately spending those dollars at food stores, like Walmart. So let's say that single mom who cashiers at Walmart also shops there. She earns food stamps from the government, then turns around and spends them at Walmart. So what would it take to push someone like the single mom up to a point where she no longer qualified for food stamps? Let's say she works a typical amount of hours for a retail job. Walmart would have to raise her wage to just above $13.63 an hour. Doing this for all of its employees would cost the company $4.8 billion each year. If Walmart wanted to pass those costs onto the consumer, they'd have to raise their prices by about 1.4%. For example, that means that box of great value mac and cheese would jump from 68 cents to 69 cents. That's one penny per box of mac and cheese to save U.S. taxpayers $300 million each year. There's no commentary there. It's all numbers. Walmart, we want you to respond to that. Slate.com, great work. Walmart is the largest private employer in the world. They made $18 billion. That was the published number. $18 billion in net profit last year. And a good number of their employees are being supported by you.